I've got all these messages in my inbox from recruiters. We've talked about tenure, how short is too short? The next question is, how long is too long? So how long's a piece of string? It's so hard to decide, you know, on a, on a time that you should be in a job. Um, I'll tell you something interesting though, with the people that I've worked with, people that tend to be more long tenured in a role, often are people who work in large complex organisations. So they've had opportunities to work in projects or to work in different departments and they've had a real diversity of experience within that organisational context. Having said that, gets to about that seven year point and I notice that people that have been in organisations that long can get a bit institutionalised. And when I say that, I mean in the sense of they start to talk the language of that culture. They start to use acronyms, refer to projects that I as an outsider am very excluded from. And I think that that can be a bit of a stumbling block for people who are trying to then transition into a new context. What are your thoughts, Jazz? I 100% agree. It's, it's so subjective and it's really difficult to draw a hard line. And I, I sort of loosely say seven years as well. Um, I think the risk that happens as a recruiter looking at profiles, if someone's been in the one space for seven years, let's say it's a bank, then you begin to think of that person as a banking person. Oh yeah, that's a banking candidate. Uh, and that then can silo that person into the industry. Whereas we're at a time in the working world where diversity is king and variety of experience is king. And so sub seven years from my perspective, with of course some variation, is about right.